In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the downstream O2 sensor in this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. And over near the fuel lines right here, you should see a connector. It may be attached to the top of the bracket. This one's just hanging. And we'll just disconnect the connector. There's a little lock tab. Pull that off first. Just grab the connector. Slide that off and pull that aside. Using a 7 8 wrench or a 22 millimeter, I'm just going to loosen the O2 sensor. You could also use a O2 sensor socket if you want to. This one's just easy enough with a wrench. And it slides right up. Take the new sensor. There's a little bit of anti-seize, copper anti-seize. We'll just put that on the threads. We'll just put a little on the side right there. That's good enough. And stick that in. Get that started. Get it started by hand. Tighten that down. If you can get a torque wrench on there, you want to torque that to 30 foot pounds. And feed that back behind the fuel lines. Connect the connector. Put that lock in. Right there. And we'll slide this behind. If you can find where it was located before, you want to re-secure it. The important thing is to keep the wiring harness away from this front drive shaft. it right there. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.